Hi, I'm Ginger and I created Ginger Clean Cleaning Products and I have been in the cleaning business for 20 years and I wanted to create something that was not harsh and environmentally friendly and safe to use all day long. On the glass top stove, I'm going to use the soft scrub. It's not harsh. You can stick your finger right in here, put it on there. It's peppermint scented and it contains baking soda to absorb the odors and you're just gonna rub it all around. It's not harsh or abrasive, so you're not gonna scratch at all. Rub that around. And then you're gonna take a wet cloth, wipe it down, and it's gonna leave a nice streak-free shine with no residue. Okay, on the sink, I'm gonna use the glass cleaner because it has some vinegar in there. Loosen this up. And then I'm going to pour some of the powder scrub that is lemon scented. And it contains baking soda to lift the stains out. And let that sit for depending on how long you think, you know, the stain, how bad the stain is. And then you're just going to rub it around. Rinse. And we're done. Okay, we're gonna clean the mirror with the window and glass spray. Spray it on, wipe it off. Doesn't leave any residue, no waxy buildup. Peppermint scented. And your cleaning tip is to not have the light on over the mirror for a long time or you're gonna streak your mirror no matter what you're using. There you go, all done. Now we're in the bedroom and we have a real marble countertop on this dresser. This is a big no-no. When you clean marble, you cannot use anything acidic. Vinegar is acidic and it's in the window cleaner. So we're not gonna use that one. We are gonna use the all-purpose cleaner, which has a neutral pH. We're gonna spray it on and wipe it off. No residue, no streaking, no etching. <laughs> And now we're back in the bathroom. We're gonna clean the countertop. It's cultured marble, and either one is um, general enough to use. This is an acidic, and this is a neutral pH. Um, both shine, both work great. Um, I would not, this is your cleaning tip, not to use anything on gold fixtures. Gold fixtures etch, and it's just a no-no. And just spray it, white. And this one, the all-purpose, is a nice almond, citrusy smell. It smells wonderful. And it shines up really nice. Now we're going to clean the window. We're just going to spray this on, the window and glass cleaner. Um, the first couple of times you use this, if you've been using um, a commercial cleaner, they leave waxy buildups. So this will strip it off, and after a couple of times, your windows will be streak-free. And notice, it's gentle enough, I don't have to use ink gloves. And I breathe this all day long, eight hours a day, no headaches. Now we're in the laundry room, we're gonna do some laundry. I was asked a long time ago to come up with a natural laundry soap, and I thought, well, my grandma uses this. She made it, so it's basically her recipe. It contains all natural ingredients, no surfactants. So you shake it up, make sure everything's all nice and uh, mixed. Little bit goes a long ways. Great for HE washers. Little bit in there. If you want an extra kick, you put a little half a cup of baking soda in with your clothes. Takes out the smell. You don't need any fabric softener because the vinegar is a natural. It's great for people with sensitive skin. Rinse is clean, fresh, leaves no residue. So if you want to use it for your baby's diapers, perfect. It's amazing, environmentally safe laundry soap. Great for your septic great for the water, great for you. Now we're gonna do the wood floor. We're gonna use a damp cloth on our mop, ginger clean all purpose. Spray, tuck it in. Few quick strokes, no residue, so there's no rinsing required. 
Remember that Ginger Clean products are safe and natural. You can use them around your pets and your children and have no worries whatsoever.